Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you my honest answer to the question of, is Claude Pro worth it? Now, this video is not going to be very long. I've been a paid subscriber of Claude for about four months now, and I'm going to show you what you all get with Claude Pro. I'm going to compare it to ChatGPT+, Plus, as both of them are $20 a month. And I'm also going to give you some free AI tools where if you don't want to pay $20 a month for Claude Pro, ChatGPT+, I'm going to give you my favorite free AI options out there. So diving right in here, if you don't even know what Claude is, Claude is a large language model that's owned and operated by a company called Anthropic. They're heavily backed by Amazon. Amazon's dumped, I believe, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars into Claude at this point. And honestly, they have become the number one alternative to ChatGPT, in my opinion. I find myself using Claude alongside ChatGPT almost every day, every other day. Um, I've become very impressed with these outputs. So if I go into Claude, I'm going to click Settings, click Billing. Here's my Claude interface here as I am a member of Pro, as you'll see here. I've been a member for four months, but more importantly, my subscription that I canceled ends in a few weeks. Now, before I kind of explain why I cancel it and compare it to ChatGPT+, I'm going to tell you what you get with Claude Pro. So if you're considering Claude, I'm going to show you what you get with this tool for $20 a month. So for that $20 a month price point, you get the following features. Number one, level up your Claude usage with 5x more versus the free plan very similar to what we see with ChatGPT+. 5x more messages for GPT-40. Sounds familiar. It almost seems like they just copied this exact line item and then threw it on Claude Pro as a feature. Now, number two, what you get is you get access to Claude 3 Hayaku, our fastest model, and Claude 3 Opus. Now, this is very interesting to me, and this is actually the reason that I canceled my subscription to Claude Pro is because Claude just announced a brand new model called Claude 3.5 Sonnet on June 20th. And this isn't just any model. This is now their most advanced model. So they say right here, Claude 3 Sonnet, 3.5 Sonnet is now available for free with Claude Pro team plan. Um, I'm not sure where they say it's the best model, but they've said it in here somewhere that this is their most advanced model. You'll see here on the graph, it's above Claude 3 Opus in terms of cost, but it's also intelligence. Its intelligence is higher than Claude 3 Opus, which again, if I go back, is the model that you're paying for in the $20 a month price point. So why would I pay for a model that's not as good that costs $20 a month? That was my thinking and ultimately why I canceled my subscription to Claude Pro. Um, but if you go down to the other benchmarks, it outperforms Claude 3 Opus, GPT-40, uh, Gemini, which is Google's AI model, uh, Llama, which is Meta AI's, AI's model. That's a tongue twister there. Um, but you'll see here it outperforms all these different models on various benchmarks. Graduate level reasoning, code. Um, Claude's always been known as being a tool for that's best for coding. Now, I'm not a coder. I'm not a developer, so I can't really speak on that. But all the other YouTubers and, and people that I follow in this space, they've always raved about Claude's abilities for coding over ChatGPT, Gemini, and all the other tools that exist. Uh, math. And there's all sorts of other details and information on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So I'll be sure to leave a link to this in the video description below um, so you guys can access this for more details along with everything else. Now, there is a leaderboard that I follow quite a bit on a website called Hugging Face. This ranks the best AI models, has over 1.4 million votes. Now, these aren't just people using AI once in a blue moon. These are what I like to call AI super users. Now, they're going into these models in great detail, testing them, and then ranking them. So you'll see here... Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the second highest ranked model right now out of 100 and some models. Yeah, they've tested 114 models and they found Claude 3.5 Sonnet to be the second best, slightly behind GPT 4.0, which of course is OpenAI's most advanced model inside ChatGPT. So the fact that Claude 3.5 Sonnet, number one, is available for free to the public, but number two is the second ranked best model in the world, according to this leaderboard, why would you pay $20 a month for worse language models? That makes no sense to me. Now, the other thing too you can do with Claude Pro is you can create projects. So projects are part of the more, I think they're a newer feature that Claude just rolled out. Um, I need to dive into that in more detail, but it says to work with Claude around a set of docs, code, or files. I'm not sure that's a huge selling point for me for $20 a month, but it's definitely something to explore. Uh, you also get priority access during high traffic periods. No surprise there. We've seen that with ChatGPT+. And you also get early access to new features. So I don't know if that means where 
Maybe there's a more advanced Claude 3.5 Opus or Claude 4 at some point. Does that mean you get early access to those? I would assume, but I'm not sure. Uh, similar play here that we see with ChatGPT+. It almost like they copied the exact line item once again, early access to new features. So now let's talk about this a little bit. So comparing to ChatGPT+, What's worth it, Claude Pro or ChatGPT Plus? Because both of them do cost $20 a month, so price is even here. That's not a factor. Now, I am a paid subscriber to ChatGPT Plus. I also was a paid subscriber to Claude Pro, but I, again, I just canceled my Claude Pro membership, but I'm still a paid member of ChatGPT Plus. And I would recommend ChatGPT Plus over Claude Pro for the following reasons. Not only do you get higher usage limits, same, same with Claude 3, um, but you also get access to data analysis, file uploads, vision, and web browsing. So with Claude, I don't believe it has web browsing, and it also does not have the ability to create charts and graphs like you can on ChatGPT+. You can also generate images inside ChatGPT+. That is a huge deal to me, as inside Claude, you cannot generate images as of this video recording. It's a very big deal, in my opinion at least. And there are also these custom GPTs that you get inside ChatGPT Plus that you do not have access to inside Claude. Now, if you don't care for the custom GPTs and you don't find yourself using them or using them in the future, that might not be a big deal to you. Um, but I, I personally like creating my own custom GPTs for different use cases. I have a YouTube video optimizer. Um, I have a PR response thing. I have some image custom GPTs that I use. Um, so I use custom GPTs. Now, you may not. But that's why I prefer ChatGPT Plus over Claude Pro for that same $20 a month price point are the custom GPTs, the data analysis, and also DALI image generation. For those three reasons, in my opinion, I think your $20 a month is better spent on ChatGPT Plus versus Claude Pro. Now, let's say you don't want to pay for any of these tools. You don't want to pay $20 a month for Claude Pro. You don't want to pay $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus. Well, what can you use instead? Well, of course, there's the free version of Claude. And honestly, outside of that usage limits, you can get access to 3.5 Sonic completely for free. So that's where I would start is using the free version of Claude, which gets you access to Claude 3.5 Sonic. Of course, you can also start using the free version of ChatGPT. And on the free version, you still get access to GPT 4.0. So for free, you get access to two of the best language models available today. That is where I would start. Now let's say you're using them and your usage limits run out. What you can then do is shift over to Microsoft Copilot. Microsoft Copilot is Microsoft's all-in-one AI chatbot. If your usage limits run out for Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT 4.0, I would probably head over to Microsoft Copilot and start using this instead. You can also generate images for free using Microsoft Copilot. This is called the Bing Image Creator. It's now called the Copilot Designer. This is a different interface here, so I'll leave a link to this too. Um, but it's the exact same thing technology right here, which is DALI. It's not as good as DALI inside ChatGPT+. Um, but you can generate images with Copilot inside this interface and also the Copilot Designer. Now, you can also use Llama 3 for free, which is a free alternative. This is Meta AI's large language model. Um, so if you go to meta.ai, you can start using that for free. Um, and back to the image conversation, you can use a tool called leonardo.ai alongside Claude if you don't want to pay for anything. Um, and you can generate free AI images using Leonardo AI. This has become one of my favorite free AI image generators for several reasons. I have a couple videos talking about Leonardo in greater detail. So I'll be sure to leave a link to that and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below for you guys to check out. So long story short, guys, I hope this helped answer your question of is Claude Pro worth it? Circling back my final answer here, unless you're a super user of Claude and you use Claude every single day for various business use cases, I would not pay for Claude Pro. You're better off spending $20 a month on ChatGPT+. Plus. You get more features with ChatGPT+. Plus. And again, there's just not really a selling point now as Claude 3.5 Sonnet is available for free to the public besides that usage limits. Again, if you're using Claude every single day and you're running out of usage limits, then that's where I could see people justifying that $20 a month expense. But if you're not using Claude 
every single day, I would not pay for Claude Pro. So again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Guys, I hope my honest answer here truly helped you out in deciding whether Claude Pro is worth it for you or not. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Please leave me a comment below. If you use Claude Pro and you enjoy it, you're against Claude Pro, you prefer ChatGPT+. I just want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that, guys. I appreciate you all being here right now. This means so much to me if you've made it this far. And if you haven't already gotten my free guide on the best AI side hustles, you can find that in the video description or pinned comment below as I show you how I've made over $5,000 a month in passive income online, leveraging different AI tools. So again, I really appreciate you all for being here. And I hope this video answered the question for you of is Claude Pro worth it?